Hi, my name is Scott Junker from Easton Cycling and we're going to change these hubs, these Easton M1 hubs, from quick release to through axle. Pull off the cassette body and that drive side end cap pops off. I'm going to slide it back on, I'm going to turn it backwards and push it in real gently, make sure we don't damage anything. We've got the new 135 by 12 end cap there, snap that on. On the left side, I'm going to pull off that non-drive end cap. The new 135 by 12 non-drive end cap pops on. The front hub is a 9 by 100 quick release right now. I just got new forks. We need to upgrade this uh, hub to a quick release 15 or 15 QR fork. I'm going to put a 5 millimeter Allen in each end of the axle. Crack that loose. end cap pops off first. And I'm just going to push the axle out of the adjuster. The axle comes right out. The new 15 by 100 QR axle here. Slide the axle in. I'm going to make sure that the fixed side is on the rotor side. Slides right in. Now I'm going to reuse the preload adjuster from the 9mm axle. I'm going to thread the new end cap into the preload adjuster just by hand and thread it all the way in. Now I'm going to thread that assembly onto the new axle. Tighten it down, I've got a 19 millimeter cone wrench on the rotor side, an 18 millimeter cone wrench on the other side. So now that I've got the axle tightened down, I can go ahead and make the preload adjustment, which I'm going to do with a 22 millimeter cone wrench here. Do that real gently, we'll finish that up when it's back in the uh, in the bike. So there you go, that's how easy it is to change from quick release to through axle on Easton M1 hubs.